Hey everybody, I'm Ed Harold. I'm here with Prosper, and he's gonna go in to the cryotherapy. I wanna show him a couple techniques to maximize his experience. So number one, is soften your knees just a little bit so you really can engage your thighs. You're gonna sink down just slightly. Have your thumbs rotated externally. Notice when you rotate your hands out, it's easier to inflate your lungs rather than your hands turned in. Feel the difference of just turning your thumbs externally. Feel easier to breathe? Mm -hmm. And then what we wanna do here is, we wanna get the air down into the upper abdomen, into this enteric nervous system and these floating ribs. So if we can just inhale slowly, let it rise up to the chest, and then try to exhale as long as you possibly can. So you kickstart fat metabolism. So your body's not storing fat to fight off the cold. So you might wanna inhale for a count of four, pause, exhale for a count of eight, and just ride that exhale to completion. Try to keep the air low and slow, and we'll see you when you come out. All right. Thanks for doing this for us. This is amazing. He's Mac, look, the, the breathing is perfect. It's low and slow, down through the kidneys, right into the mid chest region, and then he begins this process of exhale, which is actually warming. So the parasympathetic response on the exhale is warming. So as his surface temperature is cold, his core temperature is hot. And that's how we balance this out. And doing core breathing with our skeletal muscles like this really enhances the cryotherapy. This is beautiful. He's doing great. Still breathing really smooth. I can see the length, depth, and pace of his inhale and exhale is supported to his physiology and supporting the focusing the mindful brain in a meditative state, in a stressful situation, not reacting to the stressful physiological state. Beautiful. So you can actually see the air coming out through his nose being exchanged fully. I'm really interested to hear about perception of pain when we're breathing in this fashion. I think his perception of pain is going to be really, really low. How long that exhale is. And he's in a cold environment. And his brain's saying, cut the exhale, cut the exhale. And he's hacking that system, biohacking that system, staying on that exhale. This is going to be great. Back from Alaska. You did great. Thank you. Yeah, the way you were staying on that exhale, how did that feel? I felt really good. Uh, felt controlled, mm -hmm. and I felt like the inside was staying warm. Yes. So. Yeah, that was amazing. Your breathing was still smooth and rhythmic, the complete cycle of O2 and CO2, even in a stressful environment. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Remember, you're exhaling as much oxygen as you're inhaling O2. CO2 and extracting the oxygen molecules out of the exhale. Really important, building up CO2 tolerance through your nose. And you know your lungs are your primary fat burner. Exhaling through your nose and coming from the lungs, that's how we burn about 80% of our waste. So the rest of the waste is through sweat, uh, urination, and evacuation of our bowels. So we can really get in a strong detox mode by staying on that exhale. 